Good morning. So back to uh, Snippet Pixie uh, development, um, and we hit a bit of a snag on my last session um, with a database table is locked problem. Um, so what's happening is when we're doing this sync um, and we're passing in a bunch of snippets um, sort of mimicking the dbus server receiving a bunch of uh, snippets um, if we are allowing updates well if we're doing any any kind of um, updatey type thing there's a point where it will try and get snippets with the passed in ID having already done an update. And by the time you've started the update, when you do the update further down, um, either here or here, after going through the loop of snippets, a couple of times, um, the transaction's kind of in a locked state um, and it won't allow a read of the table uh, because it's uh, it's been changed. It's committed read. So I need to decide what to do here. Um, I guess potentially one solution is to allow dirty reads, which I believe is something we can do. Let's have a look. Uh, I don't know if that'll find anything or not. Pragma, okay. So what we got read uncommitted. Is there any others that are related? Don't see them. So read uncommitted. Query set or clear read uncommitted isolation. Okay. The default isolation level of SQLite is serializable. Any process or thread can select read uncommitted isolation, but serializable will still be used except between connections that share common page and schema cache. Okay. Cache sharing is enabled using as well enabled shared cache. Yep, I'm doing that. Cache sharing is disabled by default. So, but it will be used except between connections that share a common page and schema cache. All right. So, if we set read uncommitted to true, we can. We can read what's up. we can read from the table that we've started updating, which is okay. But it may not fix the problems that we're going to have later. So there's a potential whereby in the database we have 
bunch of snippets. Um, and we're about to do an import with updates to some of them, which means that there's going to be clashes. So it might have ID, well, they had the UUIDs, but say it's an ID123 with an abbreviation A. Um, and then we have ID456 with B. It's possible that an import wants to say, okay, uh, 123 should be B and 456 should be C. Um, and depending on how they come in, you're going to get a clash. Especially if you've got like um, 789 is going to be B. So you'd have to be careful about the ordering of the updates. The way around that, that we used to use a long time ago, was we used to do deletes and then inserts. So anything you knew was going to have its all its contents changed. You would clear out so that you couldn't possibly have any clashes on them. Assuming that the, the uh, data set being imported was clean, which is not guaranteed, I guess, because someone could be generating a file which doesn't have coherent data. Okay, what we should do then, um, we could, we could analyze all the data up front. We could grab all the existing records before even starting the transaction and check them instead of the database. That would be handy in that we could also then check, we could then check the snippets that we've got in the update to see whether there's a clash or a change that reduces the clash. Hmm, that might work. A bit more memory being used. But at least we're not hitting the database for a read. For every single iteration could do one big read and then look in the memory because this data is, you know, 
how many snippets are you going to have? Could do all the analysis up front then as well. And if it looks good, whip through and do the changes. Otherwise, reject. So don't even start the transactions until late. You may think it's going to be okay. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. So, okay, so there's nothing in Rebellion, that's good. Let's do it's a current snippets. Um, yeah, so we'll do S D B. Oh no, we don't want a database, we want uh, snippets dot, we'll get all the snippets. And for some of the order by. And I should probably put an equals in there. So if I, it's not equal to this, yeah, it's not equal to nil. Bell. Oh, no. Bell with the error. Okay. So we've now got a big slice of snippets. Don't know how to work with slices and finding things. That'll be interesting. Is it pointed? It is. Hmm. Okay. Um, what we're going to do, do we... Do we just carry on as normal and check them for the moment? And then come back to doing a dry run, sort of check through some other time? That might be quickest to do. Could make it that for the time being if any of the changes are gonna be sort of an in process clash then it's just gonna get rejected and roll back. Okay. 
Let's do that one. So we build a sync snippet. And then Okay, so we can try and get a current snippet. By hmm. How do you work with slices? How can you can you can you query? I don't know anything about slices. Um, let's see. Um, do, do, do. Hmm. I don't want to range over it and look. It's not very efficient. Although Given um, okay. Yeah, I need to find, I think I need to find a guide to slices. So, um, well, structures as well, that's the problem. Search, Golang, Slice of struct. By property. Let's see what happens. There you go. Oh yeah, I have a slice of structs. I pull slice, blah blah blah. How can I search this array to get the element where key equals blah? Hmm. The range that you use what? Okay.
So if I use this method and break out, one good thing about that is I have the index. So potentially, I could update the slice with the result of doing an update. So that while I'm going along and doing these changes, the set that we got is up to date. Which means I'm not going to find old data. Okay, let's give that a go. So we actually don't want this anymore. Um, do I want to plug it out? No. So we're all going to have car IDX. I don't want to just use I because um, we are using car snippets. Yeah. So and I am just doing a range without any. Yeah. So if I do range snippets oh, no. hold on wow. right that's just gonna be in well let's assume it's in 64 but I'll find out in a second. So car IDX is equal to the range on car snippets. Um, and then we can do if Okay, so why is that complaining now then? Oh. I keep forgetting that. Four. Cool. Thank you. Right, come on. Snippets. Come on, DX. 
and I'm doing ID at the moment. Is equal to sync snippet that we're looking at. Do I want current snippet? Hmm. Okay. What we can do here then? We could use I there, as is new. And then we're going to do IDX is equal to I. And break. Um, and I. Okay. It's interesting. Um, so if we do that, so we've got the current index. Mm, the default's going to be zero, which is a real number, which is a real entry potentially. couple of things to do here then so first of all if we don't have any current snippets we don't need to do any of this so if zero we can do any of the update stuff
Where's that if? Okay. Big block there. Getting nested now, aren't we? That's not great. We're going to have to make that into a function at some point, I think. Um, but not now. So, all right, so we've got some snippets to deal with. Go through, find the current index, but we also need to grab one because current index could be, hold on. There's an easy way around that. That's one. So that way we don't need to worry about it. So we've got that. Found it, we set it, we break out. Don't need to do that. If the current index is still Minus one. Should we set? Well, we don't should just do less than zero. Then we will do the same again. time we can have the abbreviation and set the index there I still wonder whether I should just deal with it right there and then although this bit here is quite handy so if we found one um, And if it's greater than or equal to zero, and option center, so we're not doing an update, we need to skip. Okay. Otherwise, Let's do that test again.
Now we could grab it. Or we could just reference it, I think, here, because we're going to be hitting it a few times. We'll just grab its reference. So we'll do uh, current snippet. is equal to current snippets, current index, so just grab it for reference. Check it, so if we're using the abbreviation, And we have an abbreviation match. And anything such as ID, body, last used have changed. Then we update it. Okay, and then set can't snip it. equal to the sync snippet. So there's updated. And then the same happens here. If the current IDs match and the abbreviation, body, or last use have changed, update with the sync version. If all goes well, update the current snippet so that our in memory thing matches update stats and continue if if we didn't do an update read the type And we're going to skip it. Now, I did need to double check that, so that means that yeah, that's good. Because if it if we're doing it by abbreviation, <clears throat> excuse me, and we have a match, but none of these things match, have changed. So. It's going to fall through to there. If we use an abbreviation, as the key, but we found it on ID. We 
without much in abbreviation. It's going to get skipped, which is what we want. And the same in reverse. If we're doing it by ID, we find it, but nothing's changed. We'll skip. If we're doing it by ID, but we found it by abbreviation, and the IDs do not match. For safety, we skip. That's good. I think that's okay. Otherwise, we didn't find it by ID or abbreviation at all. It's a new snippet, and we try and create it. Okay, that might actually work, he says. Okay, let's try a make then, make test. Oops. Hmm. One, four, eight. Oops, <laughs> missed that. Switch to I there. And the same down here. It passes. Miracles will never cease. That's good. Okay, I think we cover the basics there. But let's do tests, make sure. So um, let's do vote make sure we're running. So we're doing tests. Yeah. Okay, so here we are doing we're sitting that on the Wibble one. So we expect it to be updated. Then go get them again. Where is that set before then? Yeah, that is a bit risky.
do that. So we have a brand new debug snippet, which gets added to the snippets list, gets created. When we recheck, it is there. We update it, pass it in, see an update. We don't actually have a delete thing in sorted yet, that'll be in the future. Now that's uh, that's with use abbreviation. Let's do it again. You just leave that in. Doesn't make any difference. So we expect the same deal here. Because we're not changing the ID. should work. In fact, let's change the test of the ID because this has got to match do this instead So we've changed it to Wobble Wibble all night long. Okay. That should test the ID now. Passes. Okay.
So that's good, I think, at the moment. I think that's enough. We've done create. Um You know, I suppose we could test for errors. We could do a couple of little checks there. So now that we've done that, take that copy. Test. Um, there it is. When What should we do? Should we do a new ID? I want to do like when IDs. No, let's do abbreviations. So what we'll do. Um, so we've already got that. So we've got wobble. Um. We're going to have update false. We'll leave that false. Um, so we've got, well, let's create um, another version of so we'll correct new snippet. Same ID, but different fish. No, one the other way. The same abbreviation. new ID. So we will do I'm run out of time. Yeah, it's going to have a generating one. Doesn't have an ID. Does have an abbreviation. 
so it should clash. So no ID. So we're going to just use debus snippets two dot abbreviation. I might as well do the rest as well. So on the body. Um, and we'll leave off last used. So it's a copy. We don't want to update. Don't care about the user abbreviation or not. And we're expecting Five skips. I think. Though it should really error. We'll see. Um, and then this is still going to be the same. We should be able to do a count. Um, so if we count uh, deep bus snippets. should still be four because we don't expect the creation of the fifth okay Let's see if that works Hmm. Why? So it must be creating one. Oh, done. I commented out the wrong thing. That's <sighs> okay. 
it would help if I appended. A new snippet. Right. Should pass it in now. Okay, that's good. So that's doing what I expect. We're skipping five records that are coming in. Uh, when we grab them back from the database, there's four, so we haven't created that extra one. Which is good. Uh, right, uh, so that's actually... Are we at a point where we can test? Did I do It's kind of ready to go, but I can't test it because I've got to go. Um, but so I'll test that uh, tomorrow and then hopefully commit it up. So uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.